Hello everybody, my name is Aaron aka Pulling Teeth and welcome to ECW. It's the second show since the revamp here in Universe Mode and we are kicking things off with Mrs Foley's baby boy Mick. As you understand, you saw Mick early on in uh, Universe Mode, he was teaming, or not teaming, sorry, he was in the Hardcore Division over on Raw, but when Triple H decided to bring GMs in, he offered Foley the opportunity to be the GM of ECW. And Foley jumped at the opportunity, and look at the new ECW arena we're running in, folks. It's different than that one we had before. A bit more traditional style since Foley took over. And from what I understand, we're going to hear a few words from Mrs. Foley's baby boy. Well folks, you heard it here first from the brand new general manager Mick Foley. Adam Cole is having to defend his ECW World Television Championship to kick off the show tonight. And he is defending it against the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy. And this has all come about because Cole managed to avoid defending that championship for around about a month straight. So it's the TV title, it should be defended on TV as often as possible. So Cole is being forced to defend it in our opening contest. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see how this one goes. Got our ring announcer now. It's interesting how every time we come back, it seems to tell us we're in a different place. I don't know how it does that. It shouldn't be doing that, but it keeps doing it. Our mute ring announcer is announcing that this is for the television championship. And then he teleports away. And one thing that I will turn around and say is Foley has brought back the traditional ECW rules. Which means no count outs, no disqualifications, pin forward submission the only way to end matches and they have to end in the ring. Speaking of in the ring, on his way down to the ring now the charismatic enigma Jeff Hardy. We saw Jeff early on in ECW here, in, <coughs> excuse me, in this universe mode. This version of Jeff, there are two versions of Jeff in this universe. One on Smackdown and one here on ECW. This version of Jeff made an appearance in the Battle Royal in the first episode. Came up short in that one, but he's got an opportunity tonight. Will he be able to walk away as the new television champion? It's an incredible opportunity to get. Will he make the most of it? And one man standing in his way. And that is the man who walks away at the pay-per-view. So, so close to becoming new ECW World's Champion. So close to holding dual titles. He was almost the World's and Television Champion at the same time. Adam Cole, baby. He got very, very close. Very, very close indeed. But he wasn't quite able to walk away the victor. That was an incredible triple threat match though. Him, Abyss and Fandango had. Fandango managed to weasel his way into that, but he held his own. Credit to him. But in the end, Abyss was able to retain the ECW World's Championship at the Horror Show Extreme Rules just before we got this new revamp here in Universe Mode Boom! Call now, in the ring He might not be happy that he's having to defend his championship here but he's gonna do it Cole's been on something of a win streak. Let's see if he can keep it up. 
Can he defend his championship successfully here against the charismatic Enigma Jeff Hardy? I like how the side plates don't appear while Cole is walking down to the ring with the belt. Referee looks nervous. Jeff looks calm. Cool as a cucumber. With five colours in his hair, much like a McFly song. Oh, his side plates are back. They appeared in the graphic, and they're there now, but apparently when he walks down to the ring with the belt, they vanish. It's magic. Look, Foley really trying to steal the show this week. In this brand new era here in Universe Mode, the first week of it. He's deciding as we're kicking off with a title match. You don't start much bigger than that. Television title on the line. Jeff Hardy, Adam Cole. Here we go. Quick start there from Jeff, but Cole gets the block up. Jeff throwing hands. Drop kick to take him down. Hardy building momentum early. He knows that Cole's going to be weakened from that show at the pay-per-view. Jeff went for another drop kick. Cole caught his legs. Cole up to the middle rope now. Hardy back to his feet. Gets a missile drop kick. Oh, leg caught. Jeff drops him down. Cole getting back to his feet now. Hardy. Kick to the ribs. What's he thinking? Is he thinking powerbomb? Falling powerbomb from Hardy. Big offense from Jeff. Off the ropes. That's for the splash. Connecting perfectly. Jeff now middle rope. Jeff thinking another splash this time from the middle rope. Is he going to go up top now? Hops over Cole. Jeff is up top. What's he thinking? Leg drop attempt. Cole gets out of the way. Takes full advantage of the backstabber to Hardy. That's the thing with Jeff's offense. High risk, high reward. So at the same time, it might be high risk. It's Jeff thinking. Jeff goes over the top, but Cole slides in the ring, and that's concrete there. Jeff came down hard on the concrete floor, and Cole with a chair shot to the back of the head. So it's extreme rules. Jumping Lariat and Cole comes down hard on the concrete and on the chair. Jeff's got it now. Oh god. Cole went flying. Jeff's going under the ring. What's he thinking? And of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Ladder perfectly connected to Cole. And Jeff decides against that there. He's setting it up now. Jeff. Just drop kick the ladder for no apparent reason. Goes to clothesline Cole, but Cole gets out of the way of it. Oh god, flat liner on the concrete. Now I'm going to the back of the shoulder blade. Smart move from Cole. Jeff back to his feet, but Cole comes in with a chair shot. Perfectly connected, square in the head. Now over the knee. And again, Jeff gets out of the way of that one. But Cole's still got that chair. For a second anyway. Hardy now. He's thinking Godbuster on the floor. Oh, connecting his knees. Cole's knees. He bounced off the chair as well. Hardy now. Looks like he's trying to position that ladder. Struggling. Cole though catches him. Nice combination. Oh, elbow dropping Jeff while he was sandwiched on the ladder. Jeff. Oh, God. Tornado DDT. <laughs> Jesus, did you see that landing from Cole? And Jeff perfectly lands that. Jeff now spinning the ladder around. I don't know what he was thinking. Whatever it was, it didn't work. DDT on the floor. These two are going to town on each other. To say this is the first match they've had here in Universe Mode, this somewhat feels personal, but it is a title match, so you've got to go big. And Cole 
Went for something, Hardy blocked it. Atomic drop. Back heel trip. The lights don't know whether they want to stay on or off. Hardy back with that ladder. For a second, he's trying to position it in some sort of way. Hardy's got up the ladder now. But Cole's coming up the other side. Good God, the throwing of the hands. Jesus, look at these two just swinging for the fences and Cole drops. Cole drops. Hardy now. Jeff. Oh God, he crashes and burns. Look at this combination from Cole. Cole took a tumble off that ladder. Jeff went for a leg drop, but Cole rolled out of the way. These two have hit each other with everything tonight. Jeff crumbling down to the floor. Cole again going to the knee. Both these guys are really hurting. Is it wonder either of them are still able to go right now? Cole goes back to that arm. And then the spine. Mounted punches. Again, the, the lights don't know what they're doing. I think the lighting guy's falling asleep. But look at the beatdown from Cole. Jeff's not getting any offense in right now. Oh, able to get Hardy back to his feet. Jeff. I don't Jeff might have been going for a twist of fate, maybe. Cole caught the leg. Hardy kicked to the ribs. DDT. And Jeff. Standing moonsault on the floor. He's got Cole back to his feet. Sending Cole towards the ring. Not quite in the ring, but. He's trying. He's trying to get Cole in there. Ranges it. And Jeff now. He's going up top. Hardy. Swanton. He hit it. Have we got a new champion? One. Two. No. Cole popped the shoulder up at the last possible second. Jeff doesn't know what to do with himself. Rolls out of the ring. Jeff looking for another weapon. Got a kendo stick. And perfectly connected with Cole State standing after the first shot at least. Jeff trying now to keep Cole down, but Cole catches Jeff there. Cut him again, flatliner. Hardy trying to pull himself back up. Cole going from behind. Backdrop driver from Cole. And Jeff was trying to get back to his feet. I'm going to kick out at one. The backdrop driver wasn't going to do it. Oh, but kicked out the knee. Cole's figure to bring down the boom. He got it perfectly. Can Jeff survive? He does. Jeff kicked out of the boom. Cole kicked out of the swanton. But Cole ain't done. Cole ain't done. He's going for it again. Oh, Jeff dunked it. Jeff dunked it. Wheel kicks to take him down. He was going to go for something there. Jeff might have been thinking Swanton again, but Cole bounced to his feet. What's Jeff going to do? Nice runner. Hardy now. Kick to the ribs. Jeff, twist of fate. But he ain't done. This could be all. She. Whoa. Swanton. Center of the ring. One. Two. No. Cole kicked out again. What is it going to take? What is it going to take for either of these two guys to stay down? Hardy. Nice springboard crossbody there, trying to keep Cole on the mat. What's Jeff thinking here? 
Oh boy, I think I know what he's thinking. Just got that ladder again. Clocked Cole with it. I think Cole busted open twice. I don't even know how that's possible. Takes him down. Hardy trying to find a way to keep Cole on the mat. Find it pretty difficult. What, Jeff, what the hell is Jeff going for? Is he going for a Raiders Edge? No arm drive to get out of that. Cole's bleeding. Hardy's bleeding. Neither man able to stay on their feet very long here. Cole going up top. Elbow drop from Cole. Goes for the pin after the elbow. Gets a two go and Hardy still survives. You know what Hardy's thinking with that ladder. Cole looks like he's not going to allow it to happen. But Jeff dove in with that DDT. Clotheslining Cole over the ropes. Hardy now. Well, Hardy went up top. Cole pushes the ladder over and Hardy comes crashing down. And Cole kicking at Hardy's head. Getting trapped in the rungs. It's Cole thinking here. Pulling Hardy back to his feet. This will drop kick again. Cole came down on the ladder. That had to hurt. Again, Hardy able to survive. What is it going to take for either of these guys to get the victory here? Well, I think I know what Cole's going for. Uh, Cole might be thinking Panama Sunrise. Hardy got out of the way. A twist of fate. And I don't think Jeff's done. Jeff now. He's trying to climb the ladder. Might seem able to manage it because of the position it's in. He's had to move it round. But Cole. Oh, good God. Super kick. And then drops Hardy on the ladder. Cole might be thinking of another super kick now. And he is. He might have just kicked Hardy's head off his shoulders. Two. There's the retain. God damn, that was a hell of a match. But when it came down to it, Adam Cole just a little bit more resourceful in the end. We're just going to keep getting trophies during these matches, apparently. One, two, that was dangerously close. Cole with the missile drop kick there, he almost had it with that. One, two, but Hardy survived. When it came down to it, this twist of fate landed there. If Jeff had gone up to the top and went for the Swanton, he probably would have had it. But he decided he wanted to go one better and wanted to go for the ladder. It ended up being his downfall in the end. And Cole retains the television championship. Well, folks, we are back after that hellacious first match, and apparently now we're in Kentucky, because, again, it just keeps doing that. I don't know why. But we have got women's action coming up next, folks. Hikaru Shida is going to be taking on Gigi Dolan in this next exhibition contest. Nothing particularly on the line here, just two women who we have not really seen too much of here in Universe Mode getting the opportunity to shine tonight. As Foley has decided he wants to put a spotlight more in the ECW women's division. Obviously everybody currently have got their eyes on Rika Fujimura, who is the current ECW women's champion after an amazing victory over Bailey at the horror show Extreme Rules. 
So everybody currently in the women's division here in ECW are jockeying for position to try and earn themselves an opportunity. All looking for a shot, all trying to earn themselves that number one contendership. And this is a perfect opportunity for both of these women to skyrocket themselves really in this division. Big victory here tonight will go a long way. Now making her way to the ring is Gigi Doll. I don't think we've seen her at all here in Universe Mode. If I'm not mistaken, I believe we have at least seen Hikaru Shida maybe once. But we've not seen Gigi at all. So this is Gigi's debut here. Be interesting to see what she can do tonight. See how well she does in her debut contest. The audience not all that impressed by it. The crowd is most definitely on Sheeta's side tonight. But I don't think that's ever slowed Gigi down. Throughout her career, I don't think she's ever been particularly fussed whether the crowd are behind her or not. Let's see how she does here. Gigi and Sheeta, bell rung and here we go. Oh, throwing kicks and hands early on. Gigi trying to get an early advantage here over Sheeta. And so far, so good. Standing moonsault. And again, just ramming the back of her head into the mat. Going up to the middle rope now. Diving splash. This has been all Gigi so far. Early on, she does not have an opportunity to get out of the blocks. Yoshi Tonic. Or a code red. Whatever you want to call it from Gigi. Cover one. Two. Already with a two count and Shida is in trouble. Look at Gigi. She's just owning this at the moment. Soaking in the booze from the crowd. But she's not realised Shida's back to her feet. Shida backdrop driver. Dropping her right on the back of her head. Sheeta now starting to build a little bit of momentum. Knee to the ribs, slow slowed Gigi down a little. Nice escape. Gigi runs in with a head scissors. Oh, goes for the elbow drop. Sheeta got out of the way. Sheeta, Rana. Damn near spiked her on the top of her head. Knee drop. Now again, let's have a drop kick to the spine. She just started to build momentum up to the top rope incredibly quickly there. Wait on Gigi getting up to a feet. Missile drop kick. We saw Cole use that one a few times in the first match. She just trying to use it to her advantage now. That was only a one count though on Gigi. Was it Gigi Dolan formerly known as Priscilla Kelly? So she went for a Kamigoye there, I believe, did Sheeta. And it was slowed down pretty quickly. I don't know what Gigi's going for there. Slams her down. Gigi now. Waiting on Sheeta getting up. Is Gigi going to try and finish her quickly? She is. Nice. Very nice move from Gigi there. Sort of an SOS style driver and almost got the victory. You'd probably say it would be an upset with Gigi winning. But currently, she does not have the opportunity to do anything and now she gets sent to the floor. Gigi now just soaking in the adulation of the crowd, I think. Oh, look at that. Just soaking it all in. Passing off the ropes, now she's getting back up. But she just slipped in from behind. Miscalculated there, axe out to the back of the head. Goes again for the standing moonsault, but she gets out of the way. Went to the well one too many times. 
Sheena now starts blocking instead. Oh, she got caught. Look at the combinations. There was just nothing that Sheeta could do. Gigi was hitting her from every single angle. Say so this is technically still extreme rules, but these ladies have decided not to go for weapons. Because that roundhouse doesn't connect, Sheeta taking advantage. Got hold of her, puts her on the ropes. Kicking at her knee. Try to dislocate the arm now. Breaking the eyes. Spinning round with a kick. Damn you took her head off. Now Sheeta's going for the weaponry. She's got a baseball bat. I thought she'd be bringing that kendo stick in, but no. It's Gigi in the leg with the bat. Oh, God. I'll ring a hook kick. Shouts out Booker T. Gigi caught the leg, but gets hit with an insiguri. She just started to build a lot more momentum now. What's she going for here? Got her arm trapped. Going for a submission. Trying to get Gigi to tap. Is it going to work? Gigi looks like she's found an escape. She's managed to break that grip. The elbow's there to the face. Oh, what the hell? That boot first should have connected. It seemed like she just no sold the hell out of it. What's she thinking? I think she's thinking knee. Oh, good God. Might have just took Gigi's head off her shoulders. Wait a minute, she went for a pin and then got off of it. No, Gigi survived that one. Barely, but she survived it. Wait a second. Kamehagoye! <laughs> that might have done it. I think Gigi's unconscious. Other than the baseball bat shots of the ribs just to try and keep her down. This is brutal. Good God, is someone going to stop her? Anybody? Referee might want to step in. Gigi is in a lot of pain there. That was a beat down. And Sheeta. Sheeta's got her up in the air and Falcon's arrow. She did the deal. One. Two, three. After a beat down like that, there was no way in hell that Chi Chi was kicking out. She did just started swinging with that Batman. That was the Batman. She was swinging with Batman. The early goings of the match, they were all Chi Chi. But when she got hold of that bat, that was all she wrote. This is a great replay. Absolutely phenomenal camera work. And that too. Ready to the production crew here on ECW. Well, that was one hell of a victory. Can't deny it. Well done, Sheeta. She's got to be in line for a future title shot. Folks, during that last match, we got sent this CCTV footage of what's just gone on backstage. The champion Abyss has jumped the new number one contender. Nick Gage and beat him down backstage, leaving him in a pulp. This is insane. Well folks, after that madness, and apparently our graphics people once again telling us we're in a completely different city, we're going to need to move on, but it's very clear, very very clear there that it seems the champion, Abyss, is... He's probably scared of Nick Gage, or at the very least, he knows the threat that Nick Gage is. Because after Gage and Paige, after they had the feud, well, what the hell? Okay, we were meant to be scheduled for a tag team match here. Britt Baker and Shayna Baszler were meant to be taking on Kyrie Sane and Rosemary, and it looks like... Britt and Shayna have jumped the gun here and jumped Kyrie before Rosemary's able to make it down to the ring. There's Rosemary, the cavalry has arrived. Look at this combination here. 
It's no DQ, no count out, because of course it is ECW rules. Kyrie getting back in the ring, swinging at Britt. Britt trying to get herself onto the apron. Shayna and Rosemary look to be having a brawl on that side. Look at the brawl on the eight, on the floor down there. Kyrie now getting out of the ring. Axe handle off the top, dropping Brit. We're right in the way of these light shades. This is fantastic. Can't see a thing. Kyrie now into the ring. Playing out the opposite side. But she's gone out to Shayna. Shayna with an uppercut dropping Kyrie down. These two have a lot of history. Look at this beat down from Baszler. They jumped the gun pretty quickly on this one. Foley said he wanted to give more of the women a spotlight. And so all these ladies got an opportunity here tonight in a tag team match. And it looks like Shayna and Britt jumped at the opportunity. Literally jumping Kyrie on her way down to the ring while I was still trying to work out what's going on backstage with Abyss and Nick Gage. Like, have we had a medical update on Gage yet? Do we know what's going on? Do we know if he's okay? I suppose we will find out at some point, but as of right now, we've got to focus on this match. Finally, these ladies are in the ring. And Kyrie now going for a DDT to Shayna. Managing to drop her down. Kyrie now sending Shayna over to the opposite side of the ring into her side with, with Rosemary. There's the tag. Off the ropes they go. Double big back body drop. Another demon. Or the deaf de I don't know what you call the deaf dealer, the de whatever you want to call Rosemary. She is taking full advantage now of Shayna. Shayna's used to be one of the more powerful in the ring at the time, but when you're in there with Rosemary, she's powerful as hell in herself. Shayna is in trouble now. Rosemary with a big super kick. Get the audience involved. A big elbow drop to the face. Crowd watching on intently. Set back into the corner again. Rosemary now. Another tag. Drop down. Drop kick from Kyrie. This combination. Double stomp. Kyrie and Rosemary working exceptionally well together at the minute. Shayna doesn't know whether she's coming or going. More forearm strikes from Kyrie, and again, rocking Shayna into the corner. And listen to those chops. Look at the combination there, Kyrie. Oh, and then bops her in the face. Shayna is in trouble right now, backstabber. Shayna trying to escape, dives into tag to Brit. Brit's legal, but she's got caught with a Rana. Kyrie now getting caught. Four arms from Brit. Trying to slow down the Pirate Princess. The hot shots are over the rope. Nice escape there from Kyrie. Crossbody. Standing Brit back up to her feet. Shayna is in a lot of trouble. Caught that time. Back into the corner again. Kyrie comes charging in. Another tag. Are they going for the back body drop again? No shoulder tackles this time. Looks like Brit and Rosemary are not messing around here. All short arm clotheslines from the demon. I don't really know what to call her there. I keep thinking she's got so many nicknames. Demon Assassin? What are, we, what are we going with? Brit's now getting her backside handed to her. Super kick! Rosemary. Saying up for something. She thinking. Brit might be in trouble here. Back elbow though from Baker. DMD the doctor. Slamming Rosemary down so hard that she might have to check in at Britt's office. Bang 
into the corner there. Now Britt, big chop. Buckles Rosemary's knees. Rosemary able to kick out at one there. Nowhere near enough damage done to the Demon Assassin. He's trying to take her back into the corner again. Rams her back in. Britt now has got Rosemary tied up in the tree of woe. Well. And then just tries to choke her out with the boot. Got to down, back up to her feet. Nice five is carry takeover. Britt has turned this thing around for her and Shayna. Shayna is still hurting, but currently they've got the advantage. Danielson style stomps with the arm strapped. And the cover. Again, just a one count, and Rosemary's able to power out of it. Shayna is a lot more confident now. Rosemary struggling to get back to her feet. Knuckles down trying to get herself up against Powerbomb deadlifted off the mat. Knee strike to the face. Maybe this is what they're doing. They're just trying to take out their opponents to an extent that they have to you know, register at Brick Breaker's dentist office. Look at these combinations from Shayna. Kick to the ribs. DDT. Rosemary is in trouble now. Shane has got her. Trying to drag her back over to that corner. Nice escape. Rosemary. She's got a caught. Rosemary went for something there, but Shane had put the blocks on. Tries to take out the knee. Go behind. Flips her over. Knee to the face again. Tags back out to the doctor. Brit. She was running straight in for the pin. There's the kick out. Rosemary needs to make it over. She needs to try and make it. No. The doctor put a stop to that one. Brit's thinking curb stomp. Oh, but the referee got in the way. Super kick attempt. Super kick reverse right back. God, what are they going to do now? Shayna setting up for something. She might be thinking of putting away, but no Rosemary. Rosemary got the block on it. What the hell? Dies wing clipper from Rosemary. Dive came out of nowhere and she escapes over to tag out. Kyrie's back legal. Kyrie now heading up top. She's got to be thinking insane elbow. There she is. Perfectly connected. And Kyrie now, somehow swinging at the ref. Kyrie can't seem to get a log on what she wants to do. Now she jerks it. Was that, did that too much time wasted though? Has Shayna recovered? Yes, she has. Just about. Kyrie now sends her back in, drops her down. Don't know what Kyrie's thinking. I got a feeling I do. Oh no, she ran right past her. Goes again. Oh god, big spinning back fist. Good god, Shayna might be unconscious after that. Kyrie can't get round her though. Going the long way. Sometimes it works. Insane elbow for a second time. Now she catches Brit. Drop kicks her off the apron. Brit takes a tumble onto the concrete. There's a the cover. One, two. Kyrie and Rosemary get the victory. It wasn't a clean win at the end. A little messy at times, but they're walking away victorious in this one. Despite the fact that the Doctor and Shane had got a bit of a jump in early on. And that flip over and Shayna damn near took Rosemary's lights out of there. Her, her teeth probably ended up in about the sixth or seventh row. So Britt just ran straight in for the pin. Two count and Rosemary powered out of it. Curb stomp attempt. Wasn't able to get it. Wing clipper there and the insane elbow. She hit two of them. 
drop kicking Britt off the apron, charged back in for the pin. One, two, and no, there's the kick out. But here are your winners, the Death Dealer herself, Rosemary, and the Pirate Princess, Kairi Sane. An interesting duo thrown together here, but seemingly it was effective. Well folks, after those heated words from the Hangman, it's main event time, and the main event does include Hangman Adam Page. You saw just a few moments ago, Hangman called out the World Champion Abyss, called him out for next week. He turned and said that after the feud, after the war that him and Nick Gage had, he's got a new level of respect for Gage. And seeing what Abyss did last week, to his new number one contender. Page just couldn't stand idly by and do nothing about it, so he has called out Abyss for next week. But as of tonight, Page has got himself a hell of a challenge here in this main event. Taking on one of the pillars of the industry. He's taking on Kenta Kobashi. Kabashi and Page, a match that I never thought I'd see. Well, here he is, Kenta Kabashi, on his way down to the ring to challenge the Hangman tonight. Moving at some quite a brisk pace to get down to the ring. He's ready to go. See how Kabashi does the Orange Crush. Not in the Orange tonight. See how Kabashi fares here tonight against the Hangman. Now Hangman fares against Kabashi. Well, folks, it's main event time tonight. Hangman Adam Page, Kenta Kabashi. Here we go. Kabashi already heavy hands and German suplex of the Hangman to start things off. Match barely even begun. And a DDT. The King's Road style of Kabashi. Dropping Hangman heavy already. Two huge blows to Hangman's head and neck area. The Hangman now throwing heavy forearms. And a big boot to take Kabashi down. Hangman not afraid to get heavy. Not afraid to throw hands. Not afraid to get dirty when he has to. Going for a chop plot overhead from Kabashi, and you heard that. And Kabashi now going for a vertical suplex, maybe an orange crush already, but slipped behind. German of his own from the hangman. The hangman now knee strike to Kabashi. And then one to the ribs. Trying to slow orange crush down. Whipped into the corner, follows it up with a line. Hangman now going up top. What's he thinking? He's calling Kabashi back to his feet. Hangman now diving cross body attempt. Came up just a little short. Kabashi going to take full advantage. Whips pages of the corner. Kabashi follows him in. Overhead chop. And again. Multiple. Kabashi's chops are legendary. The handman gonna throw hands and chops of his own. Nice! And to the back of the head. This match is fast paced. And Hangman now tried to scoop Kabashi up, didn't work. Big back suplex from Kabashi. Kabashi rolling out of the ring. CCW rules. Suicida from the Hangman though. Dropping Kabashi down. Oh man, will fly when he has to. Pop up, power bomb on the floor. Hammond's got the chair now. Takes it into the ring. 
Dropping it down. Wait, Hangman's going up top. What's he thinking? Hangman. Moonsault to the floor. Kabashi is in a lot of trouble. This match has been fast paced as hell. Apparently the audience wants tables. And who is Hangman to deny them? Hangman pulled out the table of the crowds who will request and just cracked Kabashi in the face with it. I don't think Hangman's done either. Hangman trying to get hold of Kabashi. Pop up powerbombs him again. Trying to whip him onto the table. Kabashi not having it. Discus Larry attempts caught. Jawbreaker. Or the franchise, or whatever you want to call it. Page taking a second to get back up. <laughs> Kabashi just gets cracked with that table. Hangman now. Standing Kabashi back to his feet. Throws Kabashi on the table. Oh, back elbow. Kabashi now. Kick to the ribs. What's he thinking? Kabashi's now throwing Hangman on the table. Oh, good God, Kabashi just chopped Hangman through the table. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And now a sledgehammer. These guys are throwing everything at each other here. The Void Sabre gets caught with it that time. Big boo. Kabashi was throwing more hammer shots than Triple H would. Chop blocked. Hammer went for the chair, didn't manage it. Chop block. What's Hangman thinking now? He's throwing him into the ring. He's deciding against it, whatever he was thinking. He's going for the stairs. Flips him into the ring. Oh, bump heads. Kick to the ribs and Kabashi. Kabashi's got him up. Brain buster from Kenta Kabashi. <laughs> Good God, Page dropped on his head. But able to kick out in the last possible second. Kabashi rolling out of the ring. Kabashi looking for another weapon. Kabashi's got a ladder. There's something I never thought I would say. Kenta Kabashi has picked up a ladder. Wait, what the hell? Page Tombstone! Oh, absolutely nowhere. I don't think Page is done. What's he going for? Is he going for the dead eye? He's aiming for the ladder. Dead eye! I don't think he quite got it on the ladder. But Kabashi looks out of it. Cover. One, two, it's all over. Hangman manages to put away Kenta Kabashi. That was brutal. That was fast paced. That did not slow down for a second. Great camera work once again for our replays. The production crew here on ECW are just top notch. Kabashi almost had it with that brain buster. One. No, oh, okay, just a one count. I could have sworn he got a two. That was a tombstone from what you can tell, if you could see. Yeah, he missed the ladder on the dead eye. Lucky for Kabashi. <laughs> if he'd have landed on that, then that would have been all she wrote. There'd have been no way Kabashi would be coming out from that one. But congratulations to the hangman with a huge victory, rebounding after his loss of the pay-per-view. What the hell? Why is the Miz here? What the hell is the Miz doing here? Well, Miz tried to run in on the hangman, didn't manage to get anywhere with it. 
Hangman dropping him on his head. Thank you for joining us here on ECW, folks. It's been a genuine pleasure as per usual. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill, all the fun stuff. We'll see you in the next one.